The water of the devil. He doesn't spend time with his family. He thinks it is cringe. He, would, he says he would choose his friends over his family. And because of that, he has a very bad relationship with his family. But what he doesn't realize is that friends can come and go. It can go like that and you could lose a friend because you, because you two don't have the same mindset anymore. But family stays for you with the rest of your life. You can't change your family. So it is better to build a good relationship with your family. But the water of the devil doesn't realize that. And because he has no family, he has no purpose to work for. He works only for himself and that makes him depressed. But the water of Christ, he also has a good group of friends. But the difference is, he sees his friends like family. The water of Christ has the best relationship that he can have with his family. Relative family, like blood family, mother and mother, father, and his other family, his friends, not related family. He understands the importance of family. And because of his family, he has a purpose to work for, giving him more motivation to complete his hard tasks. He is constantly improving himself so that he can improve his relationship with his family. Family gives the water of Christ a lot of benefits. Be like the water of Christ. A couple months ago in May of this year, I went on, I went on holiday with my family. I am from Poland and my family also, so we went to the capital of Poland, Warsaw, Warsaw. And during that holiday, I felt absolutely amazing. I think I felt the best that I felt in this year. I think that was because I was spending time with my family. I was improving myself for quite a while. I was trying to improve my relationships, my social contacts, you, you know what I mean. And now I can show it. I can use all those improvements that I had to increase and better the relationship that I have with my family. And it worked. My relationship with my family only grows better and better. And that makes me really happy. When I'm, when I'm with my family, I feel really happy, really. Family gives me a lot of purpose to work for. I'm so hard trying to improve myself, growing, growing closer to Christ for my family so that I can help my family also grow cl closer to Christ and also improve them and also improve themselves for now and even later. I think family is really important for a warrior of Christ or a godly man. Family gives you a lot of benefits like you, like you saw in the story of the warrior of Christ. Family gives you a sense of purpose, something to work for. Whether, whether it is your mother, your wife, your kids, or even your little sister. It gives you purpose to work for. If you constantly work for yourself, you become, I think, materialistic. Because what, what are you going to do with, those, with all those money that you have worked for? You're going to spend it on yourself. Gonna buy all, all this vanity stuff. But if you work and you have a family, you work for the good of your family. You want to give it to them. You, you probably know what I mean by that. For example, I work on this YouTube channel for my family, for my future family, for my future family and for my current family. I do not only do this so that my family won't, won't, won't stress about money, but this is also very good for me to increase my wisdom and increase my learning, my learning skills. So that when I'm older and have kids, I can learn my kids good stuff, learn them a good way so that they, so that what I learn will stick in their brain. I think a YouTube channel can help you in many ways, not only in the business aspect, money, money, money. At least I, I very much increase my wisdom and my learning skills when I'm making videos. It is really, really, really valuable for me. If I would done this for myself, I don't think I could. I think I would stop along the way. Don't have any motivation anymore. And let's say I would blow up. I would get rich because of YouTube. What would I do with that money if I had no family? I would spend it all on myself. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that is really valuable. I think it would let me to sin. And now I have a family, so I work for my family. 
and not for myself. You will receive love from your family and that love you can use to conquer your days. Imagine how good it feels when you're being loved by your mother. Love gives you, gi love gives you power, fuel for your day. If you have good parents, you will receive love from them. But I can understand, this isn't always the case. Some parents are just toxic and don't know how to raise their children. But you need to remember, there's always one person in your family who will give you the love you need. Whether it is your grandma, your uncle, your aunt, I don't know. There's always one person. If it is, even if it is not your grandma, aunt or uncle, or I don't know, something family related. There is one person who is your family who will give you all the love you need. That is your heavenly father, God. He is also our family. We are his children. And remember, he will give you all the love you need. All of it. So don't think that no one loves you. Your heavenly father loves you. And I think you can say he loves you even the most. A strong family can take on all the evils of the world. They together are stronger. They can help each other when one, when one family member is falling. For example, one family member becomes depressed. A strong family will help this, this one fallen family member with all their might so that, he, so that they could heal him and help him. Or just imagine any other problem. Uh, drinking addiction smoking addiction a strong family could help that person that fallen family member together they can help him a strong family is really beneficial i think family is very important for christianity christianity teaches to have a strong family with the head of the family being god god made us all in a family the first two persons adam and eve god made as a family he did not put all kinds of different people on different places in the world so that they would be separated. He made Adam and Eve together. Yeah, okay, I know. First Adam, then Eve. But still, together. He made man and woman the beginning of a family so that they could multiply. The first humans that God put on the earth was a family. And not all these kinds, different people, different places. He made the first two persons together. Like I said, the head of your family needs to be Jesus Christ. If that is the case, you can help each other in the faith. Together you are always stronger. Together you can take on the devil with more strength. Imagine your whole family are core Christians. They do, they do everything in their power to follow, the, to follow the teachings of God as best as they can. And imagine then a family full of core Christians. One family member will fall into sin. This is normal. Everyone will fall. Some, everyone will someday fall into sin. But imagine that family, that family filled with core Christians. Do you think they, will, they would leave him and think about themselves? They, they, would, they would leave their fallen family member? No. They will try to help him with, with all their power. They will help that fallen family member that fought into sin. They will drag him up again, up to God. Imagine how inspiring that would be to other people, other families. Incredible, just incredible. Think about it. It is the opposite of crabs in the bucket. You maybe know that analogy or story, crabs in the bucket. There are, let's say, 10 crabs in a bucket. And one crab tries to escape the bucket. They, he, he, climbs to, he will climb to freedom. But the other crabs drag him down so that, they, he will, so that he will not escape and lead a better life. But a strong family is the opposite of crabs in a bucket. Instead of dragging, dragging his family crab down, his family will push him, push him up. A strong family will help a fallen family member. A strong family can take on all the evils of the world. But what can you do to improve your relationship with your family? The best thing that you can do is really simple. 
Just spend more time with them. I don't know, maybe go on a trip with your little sister. Help your mom with cooking. Do groceries together. Just simply spend more time together. I, for example, a couple weeks ago, went on a trip with my little sister. We went to a different city and she really found it fun. I too found it fun. Or earlier this week, we would cook together and make food together. You will see, when you do this, you will find it really fun. At least I find it really fun. Gives me, gives me joy. Just try to spend more time with your family. You can do all sorts of things. Just spend some more time with your family. It is, re it is really simple. You will see how your relationship will improve with your family. Just try it. Try to turn all your family members to God. If that is not, if that is not yet the case. I really struggle with this. My mother is not yet really a Christian. She believes to some extent in God, but she doesn't do anything about it, let's say that. I try to help her, give some suggestions to her, but it seems like she's not listening and not wanting to put in the works, let's say that. But what I try to do, my mother doesn't listen when I say that she needs to read the Bible for one day or something. My, mo my mother doesn't really listen to me when I encourage her to, to grow closer to God. So I try to make an example of myself to my family. I try to be the best Christian that I can. Try to pray as much as I can, read the Bible as much as I can. Sometimes this is hard, I know. But still, I try to be an, exa I try to be an example for my family so that they would see how my life improved, so that they would be inspired by my words and my behavior. And maybe then they will finally realize what the truth is, that Jesus Christ is the truth and the only way to heaven. Maybe then they will realize. Make yourself the best example as you can, not only for your family, but maybe you're trying to to, you're trying to convert a friend that is atheist or Muslim or some other religion. Try to make yourself the best example that you can of a Christian. Because remember, we bear the name of Christ. When you go outside and people know you are Christian and you will go and swear and, I don't know, do sinful things, people will think of, people will, will take you as an example for all Christians. So bear the, bear the name of Christ with honor and listen to him and follow his instructions. Be pure. Show to the world how beautiful Christianity is and that it is the only way to heaven. But I try to do this even more with my family. And sometimes, sometimes it is hard. I really find it hard, yes. But still, I'm trying, very, I'm trying my very best. Just imagine, in about a hundred years, you and all your family that you know will die. And imagine you, you will go to heaven and, your family, and you can't find your family there. Imagine how that would be. I really wouldn't want that. So I'm trying the, so I'm trying the best that I can to turn my family to the truth. But this is easier said than done. Till now, I talked about relative family, family of your blood, mother, father, grandma, grandpa, you know what I mean, sister, brother. But brotherhood, friends, they can also be family. But not every friend can be your family. Some friends you see more as like co-workers. There are only your friends because you go to the same school or you have the same work. You are friends because of your circumstances. But really, if you had the choice, you wouldn't be friends with them. You don't really have the same mindset as them, but you are friends because you, have, you go to the same school. You can probably tell which friends that are in your life. But you can definitely have friends that are like family to you. Brotherhood for a godly man is a must. Iron sharpens iron, just like the Bible says it. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17.
As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. You, as a godly man, need another godly man to keep you accountable, to talk to him, to ask him for advice, to sharpen yourself and to sharpen and to sharpen him like iron. Brotherhood is a necessity. A good brotherhood will only improve yourself, will only grow you closer to Christ. Finding a good godly brother for a friend is really hard these times. At least I find it really hard. I haven't made a godly friend yet. The only friends that I have are not on the same path as me. You know, the path of God. They say that they are religious, but but I don't see that in their actions. They are just not at the same path as me. I see them more like co-workers, like I said. You maybe find this pathetic of me, that I am not able to find godly friends. But I am just telling you the truth. I couldn't make godly friends. But for every problem, there is a solution. And that's the reason why I made a Discord server for us. To find men that are at the same path as you. The warrior, the warrior of Christ path. A path that will bring you closer to God. And not merely friends that are friends because of your circumstances. Because you go to the same school together or have, or have the same job. Here you will find friends that are really on the same level as you. On the same path as you. You will have the same goals. And together we are bettering each other. Just as iron sharpens iron, we are going to sharp each other in this Discord server. We are going to take on all the evils of this world. We are going to help each other, just like a family. And that's why I made this Discord server. So, I have two actionable steps for you in this video. The first one, join our Discord server to find new brothers, to find new godly men as friends for you. Together we can take on the devil better. So join our Discord server and let's unite together and help each other with the war that we have on the devil. The second actionable step, go to one of your family members right now and say that you love them or say that you are very happy to have them as family. Do this right after this video is over. Go to one of your family members and do that. You will see how just this one small act can improve already your, your relationship with your family. You will feel the love that goes through you. Just try it. Improve the relationship that you have with your family and become a warrior of Christ. المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطي الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القلوب المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطي الموت بالموت